Hey everybody, welcome back to another Slime for Tutorial here on the channel. This is Boom, your host. We're going to continue uh, with Supreme. I apologize for the delay between the last episodes. I have been literally playing Supreme on the server I'm at. What you're seeing behind me is nothing compared to the setup I've put together. And I still have not yet been able to achieve everything I'm going to show you today. We're talking about tools, armor, and weapons. Now, I, I do want to talk to server owners first. If you were to look in a guide and you were to bring up Supreme and see some of the gear that's in here, I could understand why you thought or would think that some of this stuff is insane and OP. And you're absolutely right. It is. However, talk to anybody who's ever tried to make it. <laughs> It will take months to make some of these. So while the gear itself might be OP, and if you're worried about enchantments moving around and stuff like that, great. Set your auto enchanter and disenchanters to a specific level below this. The player is going to get punished creating some of these, all right? So let's dive right in. First, we'll start talking about the tools. So we've got the four standard tools that everybody uses. Well, three plus the mob collectors. I'm not too worried about the mob collectors today. <clears throat> Excuse me. And so we want to start by looking. I'm going to go kind of just through each one of these just a little bit. Some of these uh, enchantments are, are really great, right? Efficiency seven, unbreaking seven. With unbreaking, you can get higher in core slime fun. So this isn't anything fanatical, and you can make efficiency seven very quickly in slime fun. Fortune 3 and Mending. Okay, no big deal. Now it's Soulbound, right? So these three are Soulbound. And you look at this one, Efficiency X, Unbreaking X. Nothing that can't already be obtained in Slime Fun or with just a tiny bit of work inside of Slime Fun. I can't... No, Cobalt Pickaxe has Efficiency 10 if I am correct. Let me just confirm that. But I believe the Cobalt Pick comes with Efficiency 10. Oh, Efficiency 6. Unbreaking 10. Okay. So it still would not take long to get Efficiency 10. All right. Now, these first three picks, same thing with the axes. If you look at the pickaxes, they're the exact same as the axe. Shovels, exact same. All right. You don't need anything else extra to craft these other than the materials. Now... Like I said, you can do better in Core Slime Fun. And you won't have to go through creating adamantium and supreme items, okay? But if you want to get to the OP stuff, now you do actually kind of need some work, right? So you're not going to need any of these, the ones that are diamond, to make any of the netherite. However, each netherite one going forward needs a preceding one. All right, so give me just a second here. And we'll take a look at this. So if we look at the first one, a Thornium Axe. Centrus Vences, if you've ever looked at this, all right, it's not horrendous. Core of Nature can be done. Probably one of the easier ones of the core anyways, at least in my opinion. And getting all these extra items, uh, if you don't have a way to get Phantom Membranes, that might take you a while. But... Other than that, everything else should be relatively easy. Now, you look at this one. Okay, efficiency 7. Other than mending, this is the one thing I don't understand, is why mending and unbreaking are on this if it's already unbreakable. I don't understand when devs do that. It's just one of those things that makes, that's there simply just because it looks cool, Right. Um, and it's not a knock against it. Please don't take it the wrong way. It just, there's no need for it. It's something you can enchant and literally throw away because mending has no levels. So mending is the exact same as mending 50 billion. It makes no difference. Unbreaking 7, we've already proven you can get better than that from Core Slime Fun and even in vanilla. So having them on there gives absolutely no benefit other than, wow, this looks really awesome. However, to upgrade from the Thornium level to the Magic level. Now you need two Thornium Axes. Do you get additional benefits? Yes, you're going to go from Efficiency 7 to Efficiency 10. Combining two identical, you're going to go from 7 to 8. So is it worth it? Yes. 
You're going to go two fortune fives to a fortune seven. Is it worth it? Yes. Now you have an unbreaking X, which you already can get from 12 karat cold boots and core slime fund. So still, it has no benefit whatsoever because not only is it soul bound, it's also unbreakable. But what I'm looking at, and, and the fortune on the axe is kind of pointless because it doesn't really do anything, right? You, you chopped on wood. Fortune does not work on wood. And it doesn't work on mobs. So again, another enchantment that really shouldn't be there. But let's go back. On the pickaxe, though, sure, absolutely, right? You're going mining for diamonds, whatever it happens to be. Fortune makes sense here. It does not make sense on the axe, nor does it make sense on the shovel. Now, luckily, the shovel, no, it does have fortune seven. See, here we go from silk touch five, another one again that doesn't exist. Silk touch is silk touch. Now, again, the efficiency is great, but all three of those other chants should be removed. Okay, now we keep going. So now you're going to see to make the rare, it takes two of the magic plus, again, something else to make it. And now you look, now it's going to start getting expensive. So we're taking two efficiency 10s and we're getting efficiency 20. Now, efficiency 10 on its own, when you're mining, is insta mine on stone. It's not quite insta mine and everything else. Efficiency 20 will be. It might even be insta mine while you're floating or flying in the air, right? So if you're in, in if your server has uh, fly permission, efficiency 20 might actually be enough to insta mine stone while you're flying. Not too sure about deep slate. I actually have never tried it, but it very well could be. Uh, again, fortune, unbreaking, mending doesn't need to be on here. So we keep going up to the next level for the pickaxe. So now you see fortune 10 stayed there. We gain an efficiency 20. Okay, not bad. All right, we keep going up to the next level. So to go from rare to epic, look at this. Now we have efficiency 30. Clearly, we're going to insta mine anything. But other than that, we've gained nothing else. So you say, well, it's two pickaxes. It's insanely expensive. Absolutely it is. Plus the thornium ingots. However, and with the central slugs. As you've seen, that one's a little bit more expensive. But again, very obtainable, very doable. But again, the only thing we've gained here. Now, unbreaking 30. Okay, if you want to disenchant that and put that on something else where you don't have the unbreakable rule on your server. Now that starts to make sense. The Mending 15, again, completely useless. Going over to the pick, same thing, nothing different there. And the shovel wouldn't even matter. So now we get to the Legendary Axe. So now these are really getting expensive to craft. But again, 230s giving you a 40. It would normally take you 2 to the ninth power, starting at level 30, just to get you to level 40. Nope, might take that back, 2 to the 10th power. So 2 times 2 to the 10th power to that many enchantment books of level 30 to get to 40. Now here, though, the Fortune 20, again, on the axe, it makes no sense, but on a pickaxe, it's great. And again, unbreaking at that level, you know, it, <laughs> it works. It's minuscule difference between 30. But now we get up to Supreme. All right, now we're really starting to talk, right? If I'm making these, I'm making these to get that Fortune book off of there. Now, you could try to automate all this stuff. It's going to take you months and months, and it's not like you're going to see one of these every day. Because it's two of every previous level, right? So I need two Legendary Acts. To make the Legendary Acts, I need two Epic Acts. So now that's four. Eight Rare Axes, 16 Magic Axes, 32 of these. i got to make 32 of these things just to make one Supreme with a centrus, which means 32, 32 core of block. So 32 times 9 times 576, plus all these extra items here to make all of that, plus every single little thing along the way. So server owners, again, are these enchants OP? Absolutely. Will they cost you more than every other core and slime fun way to get them? Absolutely. So please, while it's OP, <laughs> it's going to take you months. All right, let's go look at the armor. So, again, same thing, right? Titanium. Look at all those protections. Now, that's pretty cool. I like that. I like the fact that they're actually on there. Um, 
it's weird why three of them are at two or one or at six, but that's what they chose, and that's fine. Okay, so same thing all the way across the board, right? And they're all soul bound to start with. The only difference here is that the boots have depth strider. Everything else is identical. Go up to the RM, okay, slight difference. Not a whole lot, a little bit. And we got some fire protection coming in on level two, depth strider two. I'm kind of surprised that's only level two. Considering what we have to pay to make these things. All right, so let's keep going. Let's get up here. All right, so now we're starting that first level. So again, mending seven needs to go. Uh, it's unbreakable. So mending doesn't need to be in there. Unbreaking seven, no, no point whatsoever to be on there. It looks really cool with your friends when you show it as eight and chance on it and they don't know what you're doing. And that's the only reason that's there. All right, same thing across the board. We're going to see things change basically just because, again, Aqua Affinity is a helmet enchant and Depth Strider is a boot enchant. So now we come up to the Magic Helmet. Again, the levels are going up. Aqua Affinity 7. Eh, yeah, I suppose it does go up a little bit. Uh, again, Mending, Unbreaking, get them out of there. Now we got Respiration, so we're breathing underwater forever as well. So there are some really good enchants. Now, Again, same process. Okay, here we go. Now we're up to level 10 in chance. So, and even some 20s. So one thing to remember, no matter what, when it comes to protection, anything that exceeds level 20 is ignored by Minecraft. So level 20 on one piece of armor is the exact same as four pieces with five levels of protection. Nothing changes there. The nice thing about having protection level 20 is that if you lose three pieces of your armor, you still have protection level 20. Okay. As it goes up higher, now you see everything else with the exception of protection is at 30, which will be ignored. Anything above 20 is ignored. If you have 30 on all three, all four pieces, you don't have level 120. You have level 20 total. Tops. That's it. So everything above here is it's Simply bragging rights. Both it just it looks cool, right? Oh my gosh, Aqua Affinity Fifty. I'm going to be breathing one bubble for 14 days, <laughs> and I'm not. Don't misunderstand what I'm saying. Okay, I'm not picking on the the tool. It's just at some point it, it's crazy. And again, when you look at the recipes, same type of thing, right? We got a Supreme. We got to make right off the bat the Supreme. Two helmets, four helmets, eight helmets, sixteen, thirty-two. So again, 32 helmets just to get there. It means 32 central aqua. So it means 32 core of death. I hate core of death. And I know a lot of other people have tried to just drive them nuts. All right, let's go over the other, the remaining weapons then. All right, so we'll go back one more. So let's talk about weapons. We got the bow, we got the swords, and we got the shields. It's nice that the shields were included. I really do appreciate that. I am not a PvPer, so I don't carry around shields. But for those of you who are, I'm sure you appreciate it. So we start right off the bat. Basic Thornium Ball. The Infinity is nice. Uh, again, Infinity is Infinity. So more levels doesn't give you more arrows. Uh, it is unbreakable. So again, the unbreaking is useless. So we have Flate and 3, Power 7. That on its own is pretty good. Here we go. Power 16. Why 16? Didn't understand that one either. Whoops, go back. And as you can see, all of these are going to have additional pieces that make this very expensive to craft. So Flame 7, which is great. Infinity, get the Infinity 15 out of there. Power 24, man, you're going to go right through anything, right? Soul Bomb, Unbreakable. And as you keep going up, it just becomes insane. Now we finally get Punch 2, really? <laughs> okay. Punch 3, all right. So the Supreme Ball, top level ball, look at that. So again, the Infinity 50 is useless, the Unbreaking 20 is useless. So we've got a Flame Level 20, a Power 50, and a Punch 3. So this is going to go right through somebody's body, leave a big gaping hole, and keeping them on fire for hours. All right, pretty awesome. Swords, the basic three swords right off the bat. Sharpness, Unbreaking 10 are already available. The Looting 3 is nice there, but it you know no big deal. But if we move up here, this is for me, this is where I kind of like some of the stuff, because while I don't PvP, I do have to collect mob drops, right? So looting five, already off the bat, we're, we're getting good. 
Fire Aspect 3, I don't worry so much about Fire Aspect 3 as much as I will Sharpness or Sweeping Edge. I actually would prefer to have seen Sweeping Edge on here uh, over the Mending. And again, it's unbreakable, so the Mending is useless. Now we're starting to get pretty good. Okay, so Looting 6, we're getting up there. We keep going, Looting 8. All right, that's nice. Looting 10, Sharpness 33. So this is a pretty darn good sword. Uh, the Legendary... Looting 15, Sharp 40, Fire Aspect 15. I'm telling you, you're going to burn. You could put, you know, Netherite Armor on a Creeper, and you're going to burn right through him, I believe. And then, of course, Fawny, the Insane End one. So, Looting 20, hey, great. You you, uh, you kill an Enderman, and he drops 72 Ender Pearls. I don't know if it would be that many, but still pretty cool. All right, now, Shields. <sighs> There's questions to what actually works on a Shield. Um... From my understanding, there's only three enchants that actually work on a shield. And that's Mending, Unbreaking, and uh, Curse of Banishing are the only three, I believe, that actually work. So, and, and unless somebody can find that in a Minecraft wiki, that's directly from Moyang. That those are the only three enchants that work. So, Protections and Thorns are completely meaningless. Uh, the mending becomes completely meaningless. So really, the only thing that's on here that's worth anything is, is the unbreaking. And that's not necessary because it's unbreakable. So in this case, the shields are completely useless. Um, you know, again, you can take a vanilla shield, make it the way you want it, put an unbreaking run on it, or put mending on it. But other than being soulbound and unbreakable, which you can do soulbound through core, and unbreakable through foxy machines the rest of this is useless so honestly i will not be making the shields because they don't do anything those enchants have absolutely no effect according to minecraft itself according to mojang however i do love a lot of this it is an insane amount of work uh, it is something that i love those challenges of being able to set up and figure out how to do it as efficiently as possible depending on which add-on i want to add into the mix whether I'm using Dynatech, Infinity Expansion, Supreme, Light Expansion, uh, EMC Tech, and all the other add-ons that just, you know, they kind of help complement Supreme in some ways too. So again, Super Owners, I, I think we've been able to prove that while these things are OP, they are extremely expensive to craft, long-term taking, and I would actually ask you to please leave them on your server. Now, if you're having a duping issue, that's a different process, but... Again, report on the GitHub so it can be addressed. But honestly, the amount of work that it will take to make these things is far beyond anything that already exists in the game. Supreme is what I call, it's, it, it even challenges me. I'm, I'm telling you guys, I can go boomer for hours at a time, building, mining, destroying, crafting, and there are times I just have to take a break because it takes so long. And for me to build what I want to build, to automate Supreme as fast as you automate Core Slime Fun, I don't think any server can handle it. You're literally, what, what I showed you guys in this episode of automating the cores that's behind me, I'd probably need about 100 times this to efficiently and quickly be able to actually make cores like every 30 minutes or every 15 minutes. I mean, to, to really do what I would what I do when I'm on a server, yeah, it, it's going to be insane. Now, I'm probably 100, might be a little bit exaggerating, but I'm telling you, it just is not going to come quickly. So, guys, thanks for hanging out with me. Appreciate this chat with you. Um, keep going. You know, for those of you who are building Supreme specifically, I know Chugger spent a long time on it, working it through. We kind of documented some of his travels on the Slime Fun Discord uh, the guy is just as crazy as I am, dug his way all the way to the end. I'm working on it for the first time on the server that I play on. Uh, so thank you guys. And uh, you know what? If you got questions, you got comments about Supreme, I'd love to hear what you guys think about the, the add-on as a whole. I think it's awesome. It's truly an endgame add-on that challenges even Boomer. And so we do have one more uh, episode of Supreme, and I just want to give you a quick little touch-up. We're going to try to go through the remaining machines that are on here. And then when this is done, we're going to do a comparison. We're going to take Supreme machines against other add-ons. So, for example, 
one of the items that's in here is a virtual garden. Infinity Expansion has the virtual farm. Dynatech has the growth chamber. We're going to put them all up against each other and find out which ones are truly the best. It's going to take quite a bit of doing because we've got virtual gardens. We've got aquariums. How do the aquariums compete against the androids from Core Slime Fun? Uh, the Magical Forge. Okay, now this is something that... You can get a lot of resources relatively quick, but there's a cost, there's a trade-off on some of these items, um, especially when we start getting up, you know, and in some of the deep end. Um, there's some speed that you do gain, but you also lose some materials. For example, let's save that for another time. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching, appreciate it. Don't forget, when you play Slime Fun, you've gotta go Boomer, you gotta go home, man. We'll see you later.